or a dar, and welcome to Expansive Iron Yard Tomlu. And the game you're about to see is Tempest, which is an open world pirate RPG. Not to be confused with the likes of the 1984 Atari Classic RP game, or it's to be confused with the Shakespearean play. Now, what I do here is basically I go from quest to quest, and uh, I have to move between areas. I go to port so I can actually get the mail. Uh, in this case, you've got different missions that you can pick up. So in this case, it's someone else's debt. Uh, someone overheard some rumors in the tavern and they've got a virgin who's considerable amount of money. So you can kind of have to try and seek out that bounty. Uh, then you also have other missions as well, where you've got other quests you can pick up. Where you get additional crewmates, or you get more uh, merchandise, things like that. Um, there's another new as well, which I can accept. And you can volunteer for feast. But yeah, you can do all kinds of different things. You can kind of recruit crew members here at a tavern. Uh, you can actually arrange your crew to different things. You can have them working on the sails. You can have them on the deck of the ship, like seeking out other ships or discovering weaknesses for spyglasses. You can have them there for ready for attack as well and defense. Uh, and you can also have those working on the cannons. So you can kind of distribute them evenly as well. And what you bear in mind when you're in the middle of battle and things as well, you have to use medicines to kind of heal them and to kind of look after your crewmates and make sure that, you know, that they're injured, that, you know, you've got enough to support to, to keep them going. Equally as well, you have to make sure you've got enough rations, you've got enough rum and tobacco and things like that to keep up morale. So all of that has to be brought in mind when you're, when you're managing the ship. Uh, you can also take the way, so you currently have things in a hold there. So at the moment, I've currently got some Sea Dog Chronicles, uh, some issues that I've actually had battles that I've written down and I've gained experience from doing that. Uh, you also have wine and as the medicines which I've previously talked about. You can then take them to the shop uh, and then actually purchase things in the shop as well, such so as like cannonballs, or you can purchase rusty bar shots or shrapnel. Now the rusty bar shots can be used to kind of disrupt the sails and kind of slow a ship down to make them more susceptible and vulnerable to attack. Whereas if you actually use the shrapnel, that destroys the hull and makes the ship a lot weaker and basically brings them down. And once you have defeated the ship, you can then make the decision whether to assume all the crew of your own ship or to actually take control of that ship yourself. Which again is very reminiscent of the Sydney Airs Pirates, which you may or may not have played in the past. Uh, again, you also got these um, uh, XP which you can build up as well, so like I can develop my navigator skill, my sailor abilities, mystic, my gunner ability. I'm actually going to improve the accuracy of my weapons, which we're going to have a battle in a second. Uh, and we can also improve first aid and healing. Uh, I think I'm going to improve my navigator skill as well. So so what we can do now, we're actually going to cross customize the ship as well, and that's another thing. With the flag and the sails, uh, when you actually go into ports, you can actually put on like a merchant flag. Whereas if you're traveling the open seas, going next to pirates, you could just put a piratey flag, which can kind of make you like you can get past people, or you can kind of just have like build relationships with factions and things like that. So it's always worth bearing that in mind. And as you can see there, you can see the speed and maneuverability, uh, the shots and the charge and damaging board and the integrity of my ship so you can just kind of get an access to all those stats at any point and that's what I mentioned about the factions attitudes so currently I'm mostly neutral and a bit of a, a bit of an issue with so. so let's go to the map now what I need to do here uh, is go to any of these red objective points there what you actually do you can actually set it up so you can have a trace mechanic so you can just use it with swipe and tap on your finger which makes me think this could come to mobile at some stage but currently it is just a, it was an early access game for eight months it's just released now and essentially it's just uh it's, it's been based on top of our community and developer feedback over the last few months and uh, but it's something that's still in development really it's still ongoing and i think it's really starting to shape up very well. I mean, it's certainly, it's got more than a cover release there and it's very entertaining. Look at that, see the reticles are around. As I mentioned, One other thing I can do as well, I can actually go to deck. So I can actually get more close to the ships. I quite like this maneuverability though, and I love that sound effect there, the, the way it affects the lighting and the walls and the way it affects. It's just a very beautiful, very strong way Equally, I think that some of the issues with it potentially are that it's a very slow, round, and there's some monotony in the mission types and 
you know, we do feel like we've seen the core of the game after the Having said all that, the online capacity of the game really does alive and it really brings down the play of the game with someone else. Um, I think that really kind of wakes the game up, makes it different as well, gives it some substance. Then its sales have really taken a beating now, so I've got it pretty much. Change the balance of play, you know, depending on how well you were doing. Uh, you always felt like you were in control of the situation, whereas this, I was in control of this, I was going to be destroyed the pirate ship, the pirate ship. It was all down to me. And now all of a sudden, it feels like it's a lot more open for the enemy to get involved. But you never know. See how it goes. We've got a couple of them on the last legs. I think it's down. I probably should have gone these ones. Certainly some uh, graphical pictures I've encountered during the play for the next match I've seen the game, you know, the technical level for releases out on the EMC stage. Um, I'm going to be able to go on the prize and it's still in beta. Um, I'm going to see the counter and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be able to play the screens. Um, obviously, I'm going to be able to play the music pitch. And that's what I'm going to be able to play the music pitch. Yeah, so we had to basically quit out of that because the game glitched and that's really disappointing and uh, sorry you had to see that really uh, because there are some really good things to Tempest and Tempest is an enjoyable game, um, it has a lot going for it, it's, it's obviously really interesting that you can kind of discover and upgrade your ship and explore and there's a lot of quests but yeah as you can see it's, it's a worry because this has been an early access for a long time and you really should have ironed out these glitches by now and uh, clearly there are still some problems apparently but yeah, you, you can see you kind of you collect quests and um, you also kind of survive my career with this, so I'm going to them up. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a really interesting game. I really have enjoyed my time uh, looking I think it's something that we're certainly going to need to keep an eye on for patches and continual updates to see how the game improves and develops. 
Uh, it does seem like some quests are bugged, but it does seem like some actions are also bugged still, which is a concern. Um, but Tempest is a good game. I would certainly give it a... If, it, if you're kind of into these types of games, these open world parity ventures, you don't mind a bit of occasional uh, bugs here and there, and have to jump in and out. And apparently it's still enough to do, even despite that, then you don't mind your games a bit raw. This is, seems like a really, really entertaining package, and it is only 10 99 so you're not looking at sort of a £40 release here. Um, but it, it, it's really interesting. I've really quite enjoyed my time a bit. I'm looking forward to seeing how the game is going to continue to progress, whether it's through mods and also for the additional patches and updates. But uh, this is Tempest. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment and let us know if you've actually enjoyed the game playing itself or if you've experienced anything.